Well, we're here at Aquarian Acres uh, at what I call the stream, but as you can see, there's not much stream around. Um, so we're going to just show you the whole path of um, natural uh, erosion and uh, where the water likes to run. And um, hopefully sooner than later, we'll be able to show you a good after uh, once we've cleaned up this area because you can see it needs some help. As we walk, you can see these natural swales, which is where the water tends to collect and run off. Um, you'll even notice some small areas with little bits of water still in them. Um, last summer I dug some of these things out to try to help. You can see the water wants to, it wants to be retained here, um, but just needs a little bit of help because years and years of these landslides and erosion have just filled this stream bed up with, as you can see, all kinds of pine cones and silt, sticks. Wow. And this is eroding by the day. This tree obviously just fell real recently. Um, we come up as often as we can, but it looks like more things have washed into the basin every time we're up here. And there's a lot of heavy rains um, during the springtime that, that contribute to this. through this last summer. <laughs> Like anything man could create and we've seen water flowing down them and it's magical. So this area here is what I call my future swimming pool. It may be where bears come to eat, as you can see by that bone there, so.
wanted to show you the state of this creek bed as it is because this is not how it will look in a few years and it doesn't maybe even look like much right now but a pile of sticks and logs but this is just in a nutshell what's happening to all of the natural waterways of the world they're becoming eroded washed up dried up and really we can use this kind of restoration work everywhere that's a good looking scat right there <laughs> i don't even know what kind that is i've never seen anything like that was that snake poop no all right is that streams are healthiest when they have places where they will um, swirl or retain that water um, or just basically you want to break up that constant linear flow of the stream so places like this will actually work greatly to our benefit because you've got these little blockades for that water to bounce back and so when you look we actually have water pooling right here so we're on, on the way to having a natural stream. Awesome. Now here is um, one of our favorite places and you may recognize it from another video I have um, where we arrived here after a flash flood and there was water flowing down it. You can actually see the traces of these ancient streams just right over the top of the rock. floods do. Um, when we were here that time we noticed that this had just recently been ripped completely out of the ground from that water and so as you can see we've left it we've still got some we've got some new plants growing in it which is great you know. grass we have around here which just screams me that we've got water very close by so that's a, that's a great sign. And you can see it's all just heavy sand and silt throughout the place. It goes down another couple hundred yards until it hits a sandy bank 
Um, so that will be the culmination of the restoration area. Thanks for joining and make sure you subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, or just go to highaltitudehomestead.com.